thank We've goodness. We've got Jeff Locke us out. Bridge and Stratton. Hey, Jeff. <laughs> It could be because it's snowing in Wisconsin, huh? maybe, I don't know, but we're ready for it. If it is, you're looking at the world's largest manufacturer of small engines. Briggs and Stratton is the company. That's a standby generator, right, Todd Teske? Yes, it is. Live uh, and exclusive with us on the Fox Business Network today, uh, I tell you, these standby generators, we were just up visiting your, your friends at Generac. Uh, these standby generators are huge now. Well, they have been, especially after the hurricane a year ago, and there's been numerous power outages now. And whenever there's power outages, people need things like this. Now, I want to take a look at your stock versus some of your competitors. We talked about Generac. They've had a big run based on that uh, on the uh, the hurricane because uh, they're focused on generators. You look at other companies like Toro or Husqvarna. If you're focused on lawnmowers and it's a big year for lawnmowers, you're a big hero. You're very diversified, however. Yeah, we are very diversified, and one of the things that we, we want to do is get more geographic diversification as well as maintain our product diversification along the way. So you don't get caught where you're waiting for a hurricane to come or you're waiting, for example, a snowstorm to come as I look at uh, a couple of your latest, newest models of snow throwers. Well, yeah, I mean, you can have a lot of volatility. If you're so focused, you get a lot of volatility depending on what the market does. By having multiple product categories, the chances that you're going to get slammed, if you will, all at once with every category is is, is unlikely. Yeah, I was going to say, we look at that like the, the Husqvarna, for example. They, you know, they make great chainsaws. They make a few other things, but you make so many different things, no volatility in your stock. Well, Husqvarna is a great customer of ours, and so we sell them lots and lots of <laughs> engines. And so when you look at it, one of the things that have been driving, I think, both of our companies is the fact that the U.S. lawn and garden market has been down, but we did see recovery this last year, and we think with housing it'll continue. 44 new lawn and garden products coming out this spring at the folks at Briggs & Stratton. Might be a stock you want to take a look at. In a snowy Wisconsin, I return it to you. Yeah, that snow heading our way, apparently. Two things I don't Thank miss you. after leaving apparently. Cleveland, Jeff Flock, is cutting the grass and shoveling <laughs> snow. I didn't have a snowblower, but I'm sure it would have had one of those engines if New I had. New York Did you is wonderful. You love God New York. bless you, That's Matt. one great reason. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs>